Today on Girl Chat, this family's holiday card is winning the internet. Oh, I love it. And if your man cheats, is it your fault? For sure. Wait a minute. Wait. Plus, from Netflix's hit show, She's Gotta Have It, it's Cleo Anthony. Oh, my God. Then. Hello, hello, hello. Attention shoppers. Don't miss these steals of a deal. Yeah. The real starts now. This is my posted a meme on my Instagram page that I love, which I thought would make for an interesting discussion for us today. Okay. Now, it said, what's one goal you plan to accomplish by the end of 2017? Oh, Ladies, wow. we only have one month. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. 2017. It, it went by way, way too, too fast. fast. So what is the one thing that you want to get done before January 1st? I, I know this sounds crazy. I want to lose 15 pounds. Okay. 15 pounds. I believe I can do it. Okay. That's a whole you month. Hey. You do drop weight really fast. I'm, I'm going to do it. I am dedicated. Today is the day. That's I'm a starting. lot of weight. Wait, wait. I can do it. <laughs> Fifth, I'm going to do 15 pounds. What is there, like 30 days to go? Kind yeah. of. Will okay. you do it the healthy way, though? Yeah. No, okay. 15 no, pounds. No, I'm going to kill by... myself on the way no, to doing it. No, no, I just don't want you to, like, starve by, yourself by... or do anything extreme. Okay, I want to mention to everybody, you're only supposed to lose two pounds a week, which yeah. is six pounds for the month. Right, right. So how are you going to... That's... <laughs> you going to double. Well, I did it before for my wedding. Okay. Yeah. And I actually lost 25 pounds in six weeks. Wow. But so this I is the eat... holiday season, though, Adrian. It's gonna really eat? hard to I'm lose that to... much weight. Let's not discourage her. I believe in her. She's going to do it, and she knows how to take care of exactly. herself. Yes. Do it for her. You have a way. You know how to do it. When you put okay. your mind just gotta cut to the do carbs, I, do it. I, I for me, it's the carbs and the yes. bread. Yes. I understand that, OK? <laughs> but I think we need to be a little more realistic. OK. Maybe okay. not 15, sweetie. Maybe seven. What? What? I just don't want you to put that. 15 pounds is a lot of weight. It is. I only lost 30, and it took me, like, <laughs> Relatively three months, okay? Okay. But I'm, di I'm just saying. What if I lost a pound every three days? That seems a pound, maybe possible. See, what I did, I did 45 mm -hmm. minutes of cardio in the morning, 45 okay. minutes of cardio at night. So you for did breakfast, two a day. I had a green juice. For lunch, I did sashimi. And for dinner, I did a protein shake. But yes. are you going to do that till, till January, till December yeah, 31st? Yeah, what about over the holidays when you've got amazing ham yeah. and turkey and desserts? I'll cheat myself that day. Okay. okay. No, no, but Just no. like that day. No, we have parties. We have our end of the year party. Are you going to drink, Adrian? You have yes, parties. Don't, you don't drink. get crazy. <laughs> Sweetie, no. I think I heard tequila it. actually speeds up your metabolism. No. I'm just saying, uh, Google uh, it. No. Google it. So, it is like, that true? No, I not? heard that tequila, uh -oh. of all the alcohols, actually has something in it. It's an agave somebody, and it actually speeds up your metabolism. I'm Everybody just... reacts differently to Okay, alcohols. so for like... you, it's 15 pounds. Yes. For me, for you, I'm going to say half of that. I'm going to say seven. Okay, okay. okay. So we'll that's see. my goal for you. We'll see all what right. happens. All right, Tamara. Um, it's the same thing. I don't want to lose 50. I mean, I would like to lose 15 pounds, but I don't think I can physically do it in four weeks. Get on so my program, just, girl. You got <laughs> You gotta email it to me or text it to okay, me. Okay. We can do it together. Yes. Okay. Um, but for me, I think I just want to make healthier choices in my eating habits. I just want to okay. eat right, and I actually want to get fit. I want to start toning. And you guys, I've always wanted to do this. 
I've never told you guys yes. before, but I want to train for a 5K. Oh my gosh, I that's run. amazing. That's really cool. Run. That's a great goal. Yeah. I did no. a 5K in 1997. Oh, <laughs> How was yeah. it? Did you really? Oh my God. It How was, was it? It was, the, it was the LA Marathon. Okay. And it was like, not the 26, no, seriously, Jeannie. I'm I did waiting it. for it. It was Go the on. 5K, yeah, right? 5K, which is like 3.1 miles. Yeah. Oh my God, it was hard, right? It was? Okay. Yeah. Because the LA Marathon, which is in March, which you could actually yeah, do. Yeah, which I could do. Yeah. It is, involves a lot of heels. Oh. So as long as you train with those yeah. heels and stuff. I don't think I want to do heels, can... though. Can you do a 5K without heels? No. Well, it depends no? on which marathon that you know. try. Yes, you so. can. Of course, you can. Yeah. I'm all, no, you can't. No, okay. I'm talking about actually not know. high heels. I'm talking about no, heels. Knows, I heels. know that, oh, okay. Lonnie. Okay, but seriously, oh, my I heard the thing that happens with marathons. My friend just did the New York Marathon. Yeah. And she said, you never really realize the toll that that takes on your body. I yeah. know New York City was way more, but like, I heard that at some point, like your legs like almost Give don't want to function yes. and yes. you have to use your brain power to actually make your legs still yes. move, which you obviously do all the right. time. But like, this is like major willpower and guess what? I believe you can do it. Yes. You can do it. it. That's so Thank cool. You that would yeah. be super cool. Right? You guys would uh, visit me at the finish wanna, line, yeah, right? I'll of be course. standing there. Okay. I'll, you. I'll give you water. Oh, I'll, well, I'll thank just you, be on Lonnie. the side. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Okay, for me, um, so one thing our family hasn't done, I have a big family, but I have an even bigger extensive family. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, extended family, thank you. And <laughs> there's some that don't get along with each other. And I would like to get everybody together because I'm at that age where I'm just really immersed in family more yeah. than I was before. And I want bygones to be bygones. I think things that don't matter right now, that don't matter in five years from now, shouldn't matter at all in the next five minutes. So, so I'm going to I love that. that. So I want to call the cousin of the cousin that Mama Mai still has beef with, the one that we've never reached out to. I got petty crockers all around the bloodline. I want to get them all together, and I want to host Christmas dinner at my house in the Bay Area for my entire oh, I love that. family. That's awesome. We love it. Yes. Are you going to have alcohol there? Girl, yes. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, then I'm coming. My you people know? can drink. We okay. do cognac and Hennessy. That's Hennessy. it. Hennessy. Hennessy. I love it. Yes. Lonnie, what's your goal? Well, um, I want to do two things that okay. I'm working on. One, I want to I want to take an international trip. I always take an international yes. trip yes. at the end of the year, yes. but it may Love be that. more like you know an island trip or something. Okay. And during that time, I want to finish up some books that I want to read. There are like about five or six books that yeah. I really need to to read yes. um, that I want to catch up on. Is one of them so, the Bible? You know what, <laughs> Jeannie? I have read all 66 books of the Bible. Have you really? Have you yes. really? Yes. There's even a program now that you yep. can get. There's even a watch called 360 um, Bible. Oh, uh, 365 yes. Bible, and it's every single day you read a Bible verse on the watch. Yep. They have a lot of different programs. But you throw actually that knowledge on yeah. me. I love yeah. that. No, but there are a lot of hidden books in the Bible that I think, you know, they're, they're stories that mm -hmm. are very interesting. Yes. And it really helps you. So I if you can wanna, get yeah. that, get yeah, that, because it really does yeah. help you. But there are a lot of great books out there that I want to read. And they're like okay. six. I always have. I always start off in, in the new year with books that I want to read, mm -hmm. and then I try to strike them off. So I have, like, six left. Oh. So I'm going to get the six done. So Wait, you that. promise you'll that. put on Instagram or let us know which books they are so maybe I we will. can read them, too? I yeah, definitely. we'll have our own book club. Book club. Mm -hmm. Man, I would books. love that, because I don't know when I've actually picked up a book. Oh, my Sometimes God. Sometimes I just don't have the time. Really? Yeah, girl. I don't reread books. Yes. yes. I'd yes. love to. Love, yes. love, love. Especially books from my childhood. It's important yeah. to leave books near you so that mm -hmm. it's easy to grab, because even when you need to fall asleep, just reading yeah. like a chapter will do it. Yeah, I think you'd love Furious Love. It's the story about Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah. Really? It's really good mm -hmm. and her man. Love. It's good right. stuff, good okay. stuff. Okay, all right. Well, if your goal was to get booed up by the end of 2017, oh. uh -oh. yet you find yourself still single, uh -oh. maybe you should just own it this holiday season like Twitter user Emily Seawright. Love this. She's owning it. She recently posted her family's Christmas card this year featuring her parents who are excited another couple in her family who's engaged, uh -uh. another couple who's expecting, and herself who's just, well, Emily. I love it. I love it too. Emily's post has gone crazy viral with many singles out there relating to Emily's situation of being the only single one in her family. Ladies, do you feel like single people get a bad rap during the holiday season? Well, 
You're newly single, but yes. I have been single. And believe <laughs> Break me, down some knowledge you for constantly me, have to tell people, I'm good, okay? Yes. <laughs> you have yeah. to constantly, and it's okay because everybody is booed up and it's like, you know, it's the holiday season and it's just that season that everybody feels like, I have someone and I'm yeah. this and I'm that. Yeah, yeah. But it's okay. I've learned <laughs> to accept that, you know, I appreciate people that are together. Like, I never, I look at you yeah. and Israel, I look at you and Adam, I go, that's wonderful. But I know me, and uh -huh. I know yeah. I'm good with being me, yes. okay? I hear you. So don't you question, why do people that are coupled up feel the need to make singles feel bad? Because they want us to be miserable, that's why. No. I don't know. I, I just think it's corny, like, just let other people be that who they true. are. I think mind your business this holiday well, I season. Think, but I do take it from a, a good, a, a good place. I think people want. They feel like you're lonely. They okay. feel like if you come in and you're all by yourself. But that's oh, not their place to decide unless you've said, hey, I'm really lonely and I'm looking for somebody. Mm, true. Mind your business. But Just that's what you have to keep business. explaining yes. to people. You know what I like? I like Devon Franklin was on yep. our show. Yes. And he gave the perfect answer for the holiday season. When you are single and you're at the table and somebody's saying, why are you still single? This is what he said that you should tell him. If someone asked you if you are single, tell them I'm single single because I am whole. I am all good yes. by myself. I Marriage is not two halves, it's two whole. Oh my gosh, that's what my mom used yeah. to tell me. Actually, during the holiday season, and just in general, I'm so grateful I didn't have a mom that pressured me to get married or mm -hmm. pressured me to get into a relationship. Whenever I felt sad, she would just say, you know what, Tamara, and I didn't want to hear this at the time, but she said, you have to realize sometimes being single is a gift. There's yes. actually a yes. gift in it. You have time to focus on yourself, and you have more time to um, just be with God. Yes. Just let God love up all on you yes. so you can be whole yes. when you're ready to be in a relationship. Absolutely. Two halves don't make a great union in a relationship. No. Two whole people actually make a beautiful union that is in so a relationship. True. Jeannie, how are you feeling? Another, <laughs> I was going to say, another challenge that comes with being single is if you're not, if you don't have a child. Other people mm. also think oh that by God. this age, yeah. you get this, this worried look, especially in my culture. They yeah. think, oh no, time's running out. You don't have a baby yet. That really drives me crazy, especially because I've, I've made it clear that I'm, I don't think I'm going to be having a child and I'm okay with it. I'm comfortable with that. But I'm learning now that some people just ask questions because they think it's to make conversation. They, yeah. think, mm -hmm. that they, they think that they just don't know what to say. So they're like, you know, are you okay? You, mm -hmm. you do good mm -hmm. or no? And they just want to know. <laughs> so uh, my job this Christmas is to make sure my family can see and feel my love so that they know I'm doing all right and I'm so happy. You should be happy for me too. And That's you know so what? Dope. I'm getting mad at them. Yeah. It's weird because at all the family dinners, you know, the single people, usually for myself, yeah. I'm always taking care of the kids. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always at the little kids' table. I'm checking on the kids. The parents be like over at the big kids. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. And you know what? It's it's a purpose. It is, I just want to say it's a purpose for being single. Yes. It's a purpose for being into yourself and being into your no. And that <laughs> you're okay if you are single. It's not about something's wrong with you. Yeah. You're just all. fine. Yes. You just need to find yes. the right person. That's Absolutely. It. Well, if the reason you're single is because you left a man who was cheating on you, uh -oh. one doctor thinks that you may actually have yourself to blame. Okay. Refinery29 recently wrote an article that discussed why the woman sometimes gets blamed when their man cheats on them. Psychologist Andrea Bonier said because women are often seen as the keepers of a relationship mm -hmm. and that there's a belief that it's a woman's job to keep her man happy. Ladies, yeah, 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 process that for a second. Do you think it's a woman's responsibility to keep her man happy so that he doesn't cheat on her? No. I, I think people don't realize that cheating goes so much deeper than sexual satisfaction. Yes. If you really look, most people don't cheat just because they want to, you know, just because they want to have sex, is usually that they feel they're missing something. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't always mean they're missing something from their partner. Maybe they're missing something within themselves. Yeah, that's no, true. There are men out here that have this mentality. This, I'm not saying all, again, these are certain men that cheat sometimes because they think that's what a man's supposed to do.
There's actually some people that have been taught by other men in their family that like, oh, if you're a man, you get out there and you have sex with different women. That's what they believe. There are other men that are looking for companionship. There are other men that maybe feel lonely. There's so many different reasons. Of course. And I just think that I love this saying. I once heard this and it was, find me the most beautiful woman, the most talented, yes, the most successful, the sexiest, the dopest body, the most successful, she has money, and I will show you a man that doesn't want her. It's true. No. And when I say that, what I'm saying is, there will be a man out there that we view as a perfect, we, there's a woman out there that we view as perfect, and I can assure you there was a man that may have done her wrong, which we've seen that. You're Halle Berry's. You would say, why would anyone uh -huh. ever cheat on Halle Berry? She's beautiful, she's perfect. Yeah. But maybe there was something wrong with him. But what I don't like is that they're always trying to put the blame on somebody else. That's what I'm saying. They're it's trying to put themselves. the blame on the women, it's on their the woman. Problem. And then it makes women, well, maybe it is me. Maybe I didn't do, no, boo, it, it was just him, okay? It ain't got what nothing to do with you. It's true. It was him. Yes, yes. What I don't oh. understand is that sometimes men actually get a pass if they cheat. It's like, you know, know what, men, they're just men. They or they know have, how to control themselves. Yeah, they have a defect, you know, they just can't be in a monogamous relationship. No, 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 no. All that to say, <laughs> men are not the only ones that cheat. Yes, so yes, let's not make this just about men, but there are women out there that cheat, and they cheat for different reasons as well. Maybe they feel they're missing something inside of themselves. Maybe having sex with different men makes them feel uh, sexy, or, or um, it does something yeah. for their ego. So all that to say, I have another thing to add okay. to Okay. Because when I was discussing this, I was thinking to myself, when, this, this is not gonna be a very popular opinion. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's how you feel. Okay. I think that when you marry somebody, there is the term that you take them off the market. Uh -huh. Right? You now tell them it is just the two of us. When you have sex, it will be with me. This is a commitment that we've now made to each other. Got I am it. your outlet for your sexual needs. Right. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you end up, sometimes people end up in relationships that are sexless. Right. Mm. Mm. I personally feel that that is incredibly unfair to take someone off the market, tell them they can't have sex with anyone oh, else, here we and go. then you don't have sex with them either. Okay, so I was gonna take it a step before the I cheating I don't think that's happens. fair. Yes, yes, there no, are people like that. There are. Unless it's a medical reason, which obviously... I will say this, I will say this. Uh, on another level, sometimes people marry, and all of a sudden, the responsibilities of marriage begin to shift. On work, I know for, for my past marriage, it was like it focused on work, it focused on just what we want to do, and, 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 and um, maybe and just that's our the friendship, lives. because the thing that right? makes... Right, right, but, but my point is, marriage. but my point is, okay. at, at the end of the day, when you're in a marriage, even, it, you know when your marriage ain't right. You True. know yes. when the love is missing. You know when you guys get in bed and you turn your backs against each other and you just go to sleep and you've lost that connection. Yes. It is, but let's remove cheating off the table. It is absolutely your responsibility as soon as you know that that's not cool to get in there and do something to fix your marriage, to get it right, to get some counseling, to say something like, this ain't normal. Yes, yes. because I would hate for it to land in the other area. There are people you that go that it wasn't years. good. Dude, there are people that go years. That's what I'm sorry to say this. Look it up on Google. Yes. Sexless marriages yes. are a real yeah, thing. Yeah, but Sam, what you think? Well, no, honestly, I just have check-ins. I have check-ins with my husband just to make sure that we're both good. Yeah. I ask him, I go, are you good? Are you happy? <laughs> you good? He's like, he's like, yeah, I'm very, very happy. And then I he just, asks me the same question. Because I just want to say, it's not always about sex. It's just, it's just something in, in men yes, and yes. in you, women you know that it. make them cheat. That, that's but, all I'm saying. Before the break, we were talking about women being blamed for men cheating. Now, Aid, I wanted to hear what you had to say. You said it's not all about sex. And I completely agree with that. Marriage is not all about sex. There are so many facets to a marriage. I completely agree with that. But... When you get married, there is a reason why they tell you to consummate the marriage. Because intimacy absolutely is a major part of marriage. If it wasn't, then we'd just be friends. Yeah. That's what makes it different is yeah. I have sex with this person now. We are intimate. Does that mean I have to have sex with them every single day? No, if that's not what you're into, you... But years, my G... Yeah. Years? Yeah, nah, that's a fam, that, we're yes. roommates. That's, yes. We're roommates, that's not a marriage. Yes. What are you that saying? is not a ramming. No. 
Because out of marriage. What, okay, what do y'all want to say? So, I, so, it, I get what. It, so I, basically, Adrian's saying what I hear. Uh, yeah. But then why stay years in a relationship if you know you want to have sex? That's, That's what I'm, I'm saying. You need to talk to the person and say, look, if I don't get some by next Tuesday, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. Yeah. Or a guy who's just not this. about sex. I will say Figure out what is it? What is it? If it's not sex? If it's not sex, why don't we feel connected? Why don't you desire me? Like, what? And don't ask it like that, but actually just do what you want. Do what you want to see in the relationship. And I promise that that's going to be something that helps to at least ignite the conversation to see what's wrong. But see, you know that's I mean? why I say sometimes it's more than just about the sex. Yes. Sometimes the person don't want to tell you because there's other things that they make them stay in a relationship. Like what? Maybe they don't have a job. Maybe they don't have the yes. money that you well, have. Well, then you really be better have be having something. sex with me if you don't have uh -huh. no job. No, no, no. This is I'm your not... job. No. No, no, no. Yeah. no. This is your job. No. Stop your clapping. Stop your clapping. If I want no. a man that has no, no. job. I'm exactly. saying if it's the... What I'm saying is what if it's the person that got the money and not giving the sex? Okay. That, that's what I'm saying. So why y'all uh -oh. clapping about that? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay. But I'm confused, though. They, but, they, she's what? saying, what if the Wait, person in the relationship that has the money is the one that doesn't give the, give the, the sex? sex? Yes. So the other person is just sitting there not having sex, and they want to have sex. And they go out and they But that's the reason cheat. why, y'all, I always say it's important to ask your partner, yes. you good? Because <laughs> if and you're not, not happy, if they have an issue, then they will find out in that moment. I will say, though, there have been times where, you know, my husband and I may have, you know, an argument and you feel a little distant. distant. Yeah. But man, when you have that good good, oh my gosh. <laughs> that brings you together. It brings you together. Okay. I'm about I'm to tell something. You. Okay. I'm telling you. I'm about tell to it. spill tell the tea. Okay. We've spoken about this. Jeannie loves the book, The Five Languages of yes. Love. It's actually yes. because yes. of you that I read it. Got it. And, what, and my love language is um, touch. So is mine. So, like, I need to feel like affection. Like, my husband doesn't need to buy me something, but just coming and give me a hug to me mm -hmm. means the world to me. Holding my hand, things like that. When we have an argument, or when we've been apart for a while, mm -hmm. or let's say time just got away from us and maybe we weren't intimate, I get in a bad mood mm -hmm. because I feel a distance yes. between us. The way I love is intimacy. So literally, sometimes he'll have to just walk into my bedroom and be like, I got to give it to you because you got to <laughs> get out this bad mood. And I'm not lying. When we finish, I feel so madly in love no. again. I feel like we are connected again. I feel that with mm -hmm. you, too. <laughs> and I'm not married to you. I feel that, you know, I'm like... I got but a hug. No, I no, we like, if we get in a disagreement, like, let's say, like, we got in a disagreement yes, recently. and all we did was hug. hug. But that feeling, that touch, that, that holding each other and saying, I'm but sorry. But it wasn't just a hug. It, it was talking, and it was understanding. Yeah, it it's yes. communication. Yeah, we communicate. It all goes hand in hand. It right. all goes hand in hand. That's why you got to It ask. all goes Are hand in hand. Exactly. And most importantly, honesty is the key to every relationship. Yeah, and communication. Honest about how you feel. Now, everyone loves a good, ugly Christmas sweater party this time of the year, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. But, damn. They can get really hot. Yeah. Well, if you're the type of person who gets a little sweaty but still wants to show your festive spirit, the ugly sweater sweater has you covered. <laughs> this sweater, a combined effort from companies Lighter and Periscope, has festive sweat-stained shapes printed on them. So if you do end up getting overheated during the holidays, nobody will be the wiser. Ladies, would you rock this sweaty sweater? No, it's... Oh. <laughs> Explain this, Jeannie, Wait, please. Yeah. So basically, the ugly Christmas sweater is a tradition where you wear something real ugly, yeah. right? Yeah. your sweater. But this is ugly also masking the sweat stains that some people can get. So it combines the it two. It's ugly, but it actually has designed sweat stains in the areas of the sweat regions in Christmas shapes so everybody's happy. No. So that no, no one notices like that. that you were sweaty, that your pits were all yeah. sweaty. Now you also have a sweaty... Gingerbread in front yeah. of you? <laughs> That's just weird, man. I don't know. I, and you know no. how you make association with smells? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Pictures. When I look at that, I just think of musk. I just think yeah. somebody's just like, That's mad musty. That's a musty yeah. sweater. No, but you know what? I always want to think the positive with stuff. Oh, I think Lord. this could help me. How? You know, I don't need I don't need those types. I like, like, if I eat too much, maybe it would put my weight on there. Like, Lonnie, you know. What are you like, talking about? Stop eating. You know this, that, that would be, that would help me personally. Okay. okay? So, wait, you you know you want to write that on your sweater? Be like, no, stop eating, Ooh. bitch. That's what it was saying. No. Okay, I have. 
It will say that. That's hysterical. I I'm not gonna lie. I, I, my I, husband's not sweaty, <laughs> oh my but God. he's known for like <laughs> always spilling food on his Do shirt. You, is he oh. like that? It is, we call him flavor yes. saver. He just, some of it sometimes ends up on his shirt. He's doing better, but he's working <laughs> on it. Yeah. But like, if he has a meal, it's almost a sure thing that some of it will end up on his shirt. Yeah. Uh -huh. I wish they would make ugly sweaters that like disguise the food that we eat during Christmas time. Or uh -huh. like, if you spilled a little eggnog, it's just already there. Girl, you want like no. a you want a sweater with like a chicken wing chilling in the corner yeah, over here? No. Yeah, a little bit. Or like a barbecue stain, no, or like some guys, egg and cheese no, stain. There's nothing festive about that. The reason why I like ugly Christmas sweaters because they're really over the top yes, festive. Yes, yes. So how are you gonna make a chicken wing look festive? Yeah, that's, that's true. true. I don't know. Also, they tried to make sweat look festive. Yeah, but and how it we didn't work. Have a sweaty no. Christmas party. How can, how's it gonna be the gingerbread man and the Christmas tree? It should actually be a sweat See, steak. Look. Look that was cute. Bomb. Oh, we were bomb. We were And I think that. Lonnie, it was a contest. Yeah. And you won the contest, oh, Lonnie. Well, Lonnie that's sure because did. it was unfair. It was. Look at those Christmas sweaters. None of them were ugly except for mine. That's look right. Because I don't play ugly. Why would I want to rock it? Oh, you're the sweater. one who really looks Jeannie, you look like the fashion. Yes, I did. Stuff. Yeah. Then, you know, Adrian, look at you in your pose. I was yeah, trying to be a sexy, like a sexy elf. elf. You look like sexy a cute elf. elf. And then look at me. I really got, I look like a Christmas Oh, my God. Outfits and the only reason yes, why I'm asking, hey, Lonnie, what do I look like? You didn't tell me I what I look like. I said you look Claus. like a sexy Mrs. Santa Claus okay. helper. Oh, yeah, you look like Mrs. Claus. Oh, look okay. at me. And wait, that right. is what? What? I'm having a crisp, uh, ugly sweater. Oh my God, yes, I you can't are. Wait. So I'm super excited, and I just want to find out if we can wear these outfits all oh, over again. That'd be so oh great. That'd be cute. Yes, yes right? I want to do that too. I'm not. I'm not. And I'm that, not. everybody. Girl, check. Oxford, North Carolina. Yes. North Carolina. North Carolina. Hold up, hold up, girl. I saw some claw couture right there. Let yes. me see these nails, honey. Yeah. Oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty. What color is that? It's red. Oh, you oh, are in the nice. Christmas yes. spirit, I think. Yes, she I is. Love it. I love okay, it. Okay, now, Brittany, do you use emojis a lot when you text? the time. Okay. All right, well, we're about to find out how expressive you really are and also give you the chance to win some money. How does that sound? Thank you so much, yeah. well, you didn't win yet. You didn't okay. win okay. just yet. All right. <laughs> Here's how it's gonna work. Lonnie has paddles with emojis on them, okay? But she doesn't know which emojis. She'll hold her paddle up, then you have to make that emoji's expression. For each emoji correctly guessed, oh God. you will win a cash prize. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, she All right. See the emoji. Okay, Lonnie, hold up your paddle. Hold up okay. your paddle, Lonnie. Okay. All right, girl. Don't Good pee, luck. Lonnie. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? Laughing emoji. Yes, that's it. <laughs> is it? I Almost. Mean, oh, oh, yeah. one more thing. Crying, laughing emoji. Yay! 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 That's it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Lonnie. Lonnie, Lonnie, Lonnie. Another one. Lonnie. Okay. You got fifty bucks. Okay, you have one more, Lonnie. Okay, okay. Hold on for our next battle. Okay. Ooh. Rank it up. Ooh. Rank it up. Oh, Y'all rushing me. Oh, oh that's hard. that one. Oh. Hmm. Side eye emoji. Mm. Is that Side eye. It is. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, congratulations, Brittany. You just won yourself one hundred dollars. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. I love you guys. We, we love, love you. you. You can catch our next guest heating up the screen as the arrogant and artsy Greer Childs on Spike Lee's new Netflix hit show that got tons of buzz this weekend titled She's Gotta Have It. Please welcome Cleo Anthony. <laughs> Oh, 
Kate, how are you doing? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Thank you for donating to Toys for Tots. Absolutely. We really appreciate Happy to. that. Absolutely. All right, so before you became an actor, yeah. you were a model. How did you get discovered? How did you get discovered? Uh, wait a minute. Okay, I wasn't exact. Okay, here's a, here's the story. Okay. I was I moved to uh, Miami, um, wanting to do my thing, and I ended up homeless. Okay. So I was like sleeping on on benches and taking. <laughs> That's sexy. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh, I was like, "That's homeless is sexy." Okay. Um, you were, you were like, I was homeless, nice. and they're yeah. like. Ooh. You're like, you could have slept on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, so, so I, was, I, was walking the, I was walking the beach, and somebody says, are you a model? And I said, uh, I could. And then they said, uh, be at this address tomorrow at this time. And, and I did, and, and I did a photo shoot. And so they dope. put me a thing. And, wow. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Wait, so, <laughs> you went all through your life, all through high school, looking like this. Uh, and you didn't know that you were fine? Uh, <laughs> I got, I got, it was different, because growing up, I was like, because, uh, okay, so I grew up in, in Southeast Virginia, okay? okay. Uh -huh. And, um, and it was just, I was always like the, the late bloomer, and I was like okay. the, um, I don't know, uh, I was too white for the, for the okay. black kids and too black for the white kids. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. You know, being mixed, you know, that, you know, that whole mm -hmm. thing. So uh, it was just, all, it was never like really a groove that I got into. Got but it. you know what? You coming into your own. Because yes, yes. You every actor has a moment when they see their dreams coming true. Right. Are you seeing your dreams coming true now? I am. I am. I was driving down, I, was, I used to dream as a kid of being, um, being on a billboard, this one billboard in Virginia that I go down to I-95 and I just look at it, and no matter what was on there, I was like, one day I want to be on that billboard. And I was driving up uh, La Brea and uh, oh. I saw my billboard on La Brea. Wow. Look at you! Yeah. 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 <laughs> so dope. So great. there has been so much exciting buzz over Spike Lee's She's Gotta Have It. And I yeah. just want to know, what is it like working with Spike Lee himself? Wow. It's. Wow. What's he like? I mean, we could fill this whole show talking about Spike Lee. Yeah. He's, Tell he's us a, everything. He's amazing. He's scary. He's <laughs> inspirational. He's like, you name it, he's that guy. It's like, really? he'll, 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 he's, he's passionate. He's got a vision that most people uh, don't have, mm -hmm, and they, mm -hmm. they haven't figured out, you know, uh, and he's already seen it all the way through, so he'll tell you to do something, and you're just sitting there like, are you sure that's what you want me to do? <laughs> like, that doesn't even sound right, Spike. And he's just like, just do, and then he'll tell this, or do this, and everybody's like, okay, and then you do it, and it comes together, and it's wow. magic, and it's so awesome. So oh, great. It's magical, yeah. That's right. Now, on the show, you play one of three men in a romantic relationship with the main character, Nola. Nola. Would you ever, in real life, be in a relationship with a woman who's dating other men? Yes. <gasps> I heard yes. that. Why? Why? What That's kind of relationship? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because I, I have a very busy schedule, and, um, and you Ooh. all obviously have very busy schedules. Let them so know. If, if, so if you're like... <laughs> If I have to be here and I have to go somewhere, let's say I have to go shoot something for a few months, and mm -hmm. then you know, but I really dig somebody, and let's say they're off and they're shooting something for a few months, we're going to be apart for a long time, and I, I want you to enjoy your life. Like, don't put your life on pause. Okay. For me.